Before we start the video, I'd like to shout out Logger.com for sponsoring this video. They have an awesome site where you can buy a bunch of in-game currency and items, including all your favorite Rocket League items. Also, make sure you use code DOLBOBS to get an easy 6% off your orders. Check out the site, there's a link in the description. But for now, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys, Dolbs here, and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. Today, we're looking at some, well, some nice news to hear. It's actually that blueprints can now be traded up just like items used to be able to. So if you actually go into your inventory on PC, if you right click, you can start trading up. And just like it used to work, if you trade up, I don't know, five rare blueprints, you'll get one very rare blueprint for, uh, from that blueprint series. And another really awesome thing is you can trade up exotic blueprints to get black markets. Now, some people think this might not be so good as it will bring the price of black markets down, I guess. But honestly, personally, I just really kind of like it because... I don't know, it's something it's something fresh. But let's take a look at what a blueprint trade up looks like. So let's trade up this, hmm, is this painted? Actually, let's not do this. Let's just trade up some regular Cirrus Boost uh, blueprints. Let's get rid of the black one and let's do one Twinser. So as you can see, we have the chance of getting a blueprint of a Santa Fe or a Centro Wheel. So honestly, I'd prefer Santa Fe, but really this doesn't really matter. It's just to show you guys what's going on here. So as you can see, Bam, we get a uh, we get a blueprint for a exotic wheel, and as you can see, we got crimson, which is pretty good. Obviously, blueprints aren't worth as much as items, of course, but it's cool that we got a cool item. So that's basically blueprint trade ups. As you can see, it's it's just how items used to be traded up. Now I have a bunch of blueprints that I'm down to just trade up. I'll do I'll get rid of the very rares and the rares. I also still have a bunch of blueprints to still open from when the crates got converted. Again, I might do a video of that, but I don't know, there's not as much hype around blueprints, but hopefully now there will be. So let me know guys in future if you want to see me do a blueprint trade up. But I feel like for this video, since you can trade up uh, exotics to a uh, black market, we might as well do it right here, right now. So let's do, um, hmm, I don't want to trade up my black creeper wheels because, I mean, they're just nice. But we'll trade up five exotic blueprints and the, the black markets for this aren't too good. But honestly, this is just for science, so let's go for it. Actually, let me take a screenshot here just in case I need it for the thumbnail. But let's have a look. Intrudium. There we go. So as you can see, you get the blueprint for a black market and you from exotics, guys. Who would have ever thought that you could trade up? Honestly, it's it's fine. I like it. I like it. It's just a blueprint, though. I can definitely trade it. But who would have thought that we'd ever be able to trade up exotics for black markets? I'm glad it's finally here. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys might be able to use this to make profit or maybe it's just a bit more excitement and fun. So, yeah, let me know if you want to see um, a bunch of exotic trade ups for a video because I feel like people would enjoy to see that since it's fresh and new. But there you go, guys. That's all the news with this new update. We've got a new blueprint series of items that just came out. My last video showcases all of that. But yeah, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this change because I feel like I do. It's good to be able to do trade-ups again, though. But I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.